OK, we're going to look at quite an easy way to create photo collages, which are especially useful for printing your work. So I'm going to start with a new document. I'll go to File, New. And under Type, I want to select Print. And we'll go with just an A4 layout. And I'll uncheck Portrait so we can have a landscape orientation. Click OK. OK, and I'll just move across to the Layers panel here. Now, there are two good practices for bringing your images into a new document. The first is to use File, Place. So you then want to navigate to where your images are stored. And I'll just select the first image here and click Open. OK, so then we have this little drop zone cursor here. And we can either single click to add the image at its original size, or we can click drag to drag the image out to a specified size on the document. The aspect ratio is constrained by default. So I'll bring it to about here and then release the mouse button. OK, it's also important to note that Photo does not permanently rasterize any of your layers. So for example, if you want to resize them at a later date, the original quality is still there. So you can resize to your heart's content. You'll never lose resolution. OK, so that was File Place. Let's look at a slightly different approach, which is to find your images in the folder here. And you can click drag them straight into the document, like so. The only disadvantage here is that they are dropped in at full resolution or full size, so you do need to resize them yourself. Now, we're at the point of adding a second image. So I just want to also point out that you can turn on snapping, which is this red magnet icon here. And that will then allow you to snap images or other layers together quite easily, like so. So again, I'll go in and grab the third image and just drop it in. So once again, I'll need to resize. And you can also resize by center point by holding down the modifier here. And then again using snapping. You see we've got measurement guides here as well at the top that tell you how far apart the layers are. So then, with that in mind, let's reposition the second layer so that the guide value here reads 4. And then we'll do the same for the third layer, like so. OK, so then we might want these images to kind of span across most of the width of the document here. And we can select all three of them at once. So again, there are two ways to do this. One is to shift click on the Layers panel here. The other is to click drag and create a selection, like so. And then we can resize all three of these images or layers at the same time by holding down the mouse button like so, but you'll notice the aspect ratio is not constrained this time because we have multiple images. If you hold down Shift as a modifier, this will then constrain all of the images together. OK, so the final step is making sure that we're actually aligned using the center point of the document as a guide. So this is really easy because we've got snapping on. So we just click drag until we see that green line show up down the middle here. OK, then we can release the mouse button and we've just efficiently lined up our first three images. OK, I'm going to go in and get the fourth image now. So I'm going to use File Place again. And I'll select this image here. And then, again, using Snapping Guides, I'll click drag to create a perfectly sized and positioned image. OK, then I'll do the same for the fifth image. 
And for the fifth image, I'll actually go in and choose the last image here. And I kind of, I want perhaps to do something a bit different with my layout. So I'll bring that image to about there. Then I'll add the final image, which is this one here. Click open. And then I want to determine my starting point about here for the final image and then click drag it out like so. So the great thing now is that I can go ahead and resize and reposition any of these images to how I see fit without losing quality or resolution. So I might just drag this image down here and then perhaps this image I'll drag slightly further down or maybe just so it meets the middle of this image here. Okay, so finally then, I want to make sure the space at the top and bottom of this document is equal. So to do this, I can select all of the images and then just simply click, drag until we get that horizontal red line here, which means we've got equal space around the top and bottom. And just to bookend this video, let's look at a couple of creative techniques we can employ. So I can shift click to select all of the image layers. Then across on the effects panel, I can add a number of effects to the borders or outlines of these images. So for example, I can add outer shadow, like so, or if I want something a bit more pronounced. I can uncheck outer shadow and perhaps have something like an outline, which adds a solid outline, bordering the images like so. And then let's say I wanted to change the background. So to do this very quickly, what I can do is go to layer and new fill layer. Okay, and then I drag this fill layer underneath all of the image layers. Then on the color panel here, I can change the color of the fill layer. So it's a pure white at the moment. If I move the sliders, gradually down, I can create an almost solid black. If the black is too dark, we can also hold down shift as a modifier and click one of these sliders to gradually drag them all up together relative to one another so we can have a, a grey background. And then don't forget that your usual gamut of adjustments and filter layers apply as well. So I can, for example, select the topmost image layer and then add a curves adjustment. And if I just want to increase the overall brightness and contrast of these images, I can do so. And the curves adjustment affects everything else underneath it. So all of the image layers and the fill layer are then affected. So there we go, really. Just what are hopefully some helpful tips and techniques for laying out your photos and creating nice photo collages. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity Forums, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.